I will introduce you to my perspective on this clinician as a pain physician. Please listen to my talk and decide for yourself. If you go to the neurosurgeon, you will undergo discectomy with or without fusion. It is a rapid remedy and you will experience a dramatic improvement in your symptoms. But you should understand and prefer the unwanted natural process of the invasive treatment before the procedure, which the neurosurgeons did not explain adequately. Fact number one, the herniated disc material will disappear eventually. According to the natural course study of discoordination and radiculopathy, most patients with symptomatic cervical disorientations with radiculopathy initially present with intense pain and moderate level of disability. Most patients decide to get an operation at this period because of fear. However, substantial improvement tends to occur within the first four to six months post onset. Time to complete recovery ranged from 24 to 36 months. Most cases of reticulopathy are self-limiting and symptoms resolve for weeks to months. I'll give you an example. The MRI demonstrated the spontaneous resolution of this herniation and clinical improvement correlate with morphologic resolution. The article showed a significant reduction on the two-year and final scans. The proposed hypotheses are dehydration, enzymatic catabolism, and phagocytosis. According to the pathological and immunological studies of herniated disc material, the immunohistological staining revealed the presence of T cells and macrophages which suggested that this cell infiltration originated from T cells and macrophages. The spontaneous resolution of this may have resulted from phagocytic activities. Here is a lesson. Protruded disc and nerve root irritation will disappear eventually. So the only attempt of invasive removal is unnecessary. Fact number two. The purpose of discectomy does not intend to remove back pain but radicular pain. The authors analyzed the short and long term result of back and radicular pain after discectomy. The lower leg radiating pain and referred buttock pain showed a clinical improvement within the first three months and further consistently in the long term follow up. Low back pain showed clinical improvement within the first three months postoperatively, but the improvement was not observed until 12 months postoperatively. The authors performed a systemic review of a longitudinal study to determine the frequency of recurrent back pain after discectomy. At one year and two year follow up, 